Why is my water heater not making hot water? Check for a water leak that means it is constantly heating water that's going down the drain. I do not see a water leak around it. You could try putting insulation around it to improve energy efficiency. And make sure your family is wasting hot water, where you think the unit isn't working when it simply cannot keep up with demand. It makes lukewarm water at best for even the first person to get in the shower in the morning. If one of the heating elements burned out, it can only heat up the water around that element, then make the water passing by lukewarm after the pulse of hot water. It is not even hot most of the time. Then you probably have both heating elements burned out. What do I do if that is not the cause? It might not be making hot water if the thermostat is dead. The unit doesn't turn on the heating elements because the unit doesn't realize it is cold. I can at least check that. Or turn it up. If the thermostat is simply off calibration, that will warm up the water, but if it does nothing set to 150, you know it has to be replaced. How do you calibrate a water heater thermostat? It is faster, cheaper and simpler to replace it. Something else you can check is that the thermostat sensor is properly touching the tank instead of shifted a fraction of an inch away. That would explain the unit getting too hot because the thermostat does not recognize the unit is at 125 until the air around it is 125 while the water is 150. The hot water heater should shut off when the sensors think that it is overheating. If it overheats too many times, it may stay off until you reset it. At which point, it stays on until it overheats again. At least you would get hot water for a little while, while you're waiting for a plumber to come by. Assuming it does not dramatically overheat and blow up. The temperature pressure relief valve is designed to let off excess pressure, but if it is left open, the unit could let the hot steam escape. That would give me lukewarm water, which is better than the cold showers I'm stuck with now. Then you need to check the control board is working, thermostat registers the right temperature and start looking at replacing heating elements if not other hardware. At least it gives me a set of things to check before I pay a fortune for someone else to flip a breaker or move a sensor.